did you make any friends during Gamergate? I did. Some Gamergaters, some neutrals, many of whom I'm still in contact with. Okay. Oh, you went to a meetup. What was that like? That was cool. It was just a, it was a fun hangout. And obviously people did not exchange a lot of information because people were rightly afraid of doxing and things of some anti showing up there and trying to get info on people. But everybody there was awesome. And I remember the theory crafting, trying to figure out which of the big anti-Gamergate talking heads really believed it and which ones were grifters. That was yeah, a lot of fun, especially as people got drunker and the theories got wilder. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like a blast. I went to, well, actually, sorry, I didn't went to. Let's not let's not sell myself short, okay? I hosted a large number of uh, a, a handful of Gamergate meetups in St. Louis, but they were really small. We'd get I think the biggest we had was like six people or seven people, maybe. No, it might be like eight. I don't know, but it was it was like not huge, not huge at all, because like, not that many people in St. Louis. Nobody lives here. Uh, but but honestly, it was cool meeting people, and uh, it was fun yeah. to do. But it was I didn't go to any of the bigger we... ones. I wish we'd continued that, but there was only one that was ever remotely in my area. Do you have any thoughts on Vivian James or Gamergate related art projects? I thought Vivian was cute. I, I am glad that people mostly treated her as cute and not as a waifu. Like, there's the the Kotaku in action banner with the sexy Vivian, but that's making fun of Kotaku's own banner. Usually people don't lewd Vivian. It was very much frowned upon to make sexualized Vivian stuff. I remember. Very yeah. much so. But some people did well, it anyway. She was supposed to be underage. She was supposed to be underage, so was it would have been kind of... Well, she was supposed to be sort of Gamergate's daughter. But I don't remember the name of it, but somebody was doing a sort of Mega Man style Vivian James game. Actually, <laughs> was it called Project Sock Just? I don't know what I don't know what it was. I actually I looked into it recently. I'm trying to get Apple the Green. He did the music for the game, or for a game, I think it was that one. Um, I'm trying to get him on for for for. Uh, but it was it was a Mega Man style game starring Vivian. James. There's videos of it on YouTube. I can link you. Um, I and think it I might legitimately have looked great. It did. It looked cool. And it just got abandoned, and we never got to see it. We never even got to try an alpha build. I emailed. I think. I think his email address is dead, but I emailed the guy who was working on it too. And, um, or girl, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know their gender. I don't want to assume. Um, I emailed them and I, but their email address is from a, a website that doesn't exist anymore. So I don't think they got the email. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was very sad that that never went anywhere because that looked really good. Captain Carvine in the chat says, do you guys remember the Vivian James Flash games? Uh, I, yeah, dude, I remember, link I remember me those. one of them where, where the, the final boss, the Dr. Wily, was Jonathan McIntosh as a giant anglerfish with Anita Sarkeesian as the light on his head. But... But the Vivian James game that the Project Sock just won was the one that looked like it was really, really going to be good. And 
Sadly, that never came out. And No Talent wants you to ask me about Mia Khalifa. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say about Mia Khalifa. Well, you can take the hot, question from the chat if you want, but I... <laughs> She's hot. Okay. What the hell else is there to say? She's a freaking porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what happened to Ethics the Sea Lion that Gamergate supporters adopted? I did not know that that was a thing until I read your questions. <laughs> I, I was unaware that a bunch of channers had adopted a sea lion and literally called it Ethics. I always thought Ethics the Sea Lion was just a character we invented. I did not know there was a real sea lion. I think that's sweet. I would have liked to hug it, except it probably would have tried to eat me. I want to know where the sea lion's at. I want to know what happened. I, I too, would like to know where the sea lion is at. It's been nine years. How long does a sea lion live? Oh, no, don't, don't, no, don't look it up. Don't look it up. I'll be sad. As I'd probably never be able to find it, but it would certainly make sense. After all, ethics and games journalism is dead. What was your favorite moment in Gamergate? Probably was the beach body thing. That felt like the real hope spot. When things were were gonna get better. And if it hadn't been for the whole damn Trump nonsense, they probably would have. So you think that if if Trump didn't win, some of the quote unquote woke stuff would not be I think I think Trump caused the great awakening. I think that that stuff was starting to crest and recede and then he ran this hyper divisive presidential campaign and just blew it up. And I know you disagree with me on that, no talent. I know you disagree with me. We've been arguing about that for years. But no, he made things worse. He made things fucking worse. Maybe responding. Um, so your favorite moment was the when the Protein World Company stood up to them? Yeah, that, that really felt like a watershed at the time. Yeah, I actually you know, like, like I like I said. This is this is something I do because I think it has to be done. It's not something I do for kicks. I don't have a ton of, you know, happy goofy fun moments from this activism. It's largely been a slog for the greater good. Obviously, it was a slog for me, too, in some ways. But I I do look back fondly on a lot of the stuff. And also, like, not fondly on some things, too. Like, obviously, there were sad moments and and stuff like that. But and including some, like, terrifying moments um, at parts, which, you know, I don't really want to get into. I enjoyed the sense of community. Yeah, I like the sense of community, uh, too. Working towards a common goal. But... A lot of it has really felt like banging my head against the wall. I guess maybe it was a bit different for me because I was involved in the streamer space. And I feel like yeah, the gamer was, gets... I never really got into that. Yeah, I think you. I think I had you on like once or twice maybe. You came on. But in, in terms of like be, being a streamer or trying to become an e-celeb myself, I never wanted that because I don't want the real life attention. I don't want the potential that this, that this is going to bleed over into my real life and ruin my career or something because they would absolutely try to get me fired or some shit. Well, I do just want to say though, I think that the Gamergate streamer community was, well, <laughs> I should probably qualify the statement. I think most of the Gamergate streaming community was like really cool. I feel like most of those people, yeah, but they weren't they point, weren't Ely celebs like in the traditional sense, right? These were people. My point with like is worrying about subscribers. 
no, no, I'm too much attention. I'm and not <laughs> ending up with some anti gamer gator doxing me. No, 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 I'm not. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not saying that like. Oh, you, like you should have done it or something. I'm just saying, like from my perspective, it was it was fun. Because I'm, I'm sure that made things a lot more fun. Well, not not the not the people trying to dox you part, but the but the, like there's just like the fact that you could just like hey jump on and chill and have conversations with people, and um, yeah, like a community of people. It's like hey, you guys do anything tonight? I was like no, let's uh, let's stream. You know, let's stream. We'll talk about whatever the latest controversy of the week happens to be. You know, um. That was, you know, that was fun. But, you know, there's obviously, like, a couple of the streamers were, like, kind of crazy. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, there's, all of these things always have a lot of silly personality politics. But most of the people, I feel, and Gamergate at large, not just in the streamer space, but, like, most of the people were pretty chill. Most of them were pretty cool, yeah. Well, how do you feel about... The fact that it seems like some people were like legit psych, like not psycho, but like crazy. Sadly, it's inevitable. It was a large movement, and it was largely focused on things that we were angry about, and that's gonna attract some. Odd personality types. If you could change one thing about Gamergate, what would it be? I mean, if we're talking about me traveling back in time nine years with future knowledge, I could probably screw over a lot of the stuff our opponents tried to do just because I anticipated ahead of time, because for me it's already happened. But just one thing would probably be to tell us to beware of Milo. Do you think people would have listened? Well, you said I get to change one thing. True, therefore... you do! Yeah, that's a good one. I don't... Yeah. Now, is it... Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, do you think getting rid of Milo, you, you make... You change the narrative on Gambergate? I think the press would have still done the same thing, but I think it would have looked a lot less credible. I think I think he he did a lot of damage and he he had a seriously negative effect on our ability to win over centrists and and I know people that he harassed. I know people that he organized harassment of people who I became friends with in the years later and they've said to me that they stayed neutral or they had a negative impression of Gamergate in some significant part because he was horrible to them. I know one person who says that he, he tried to to get them to remove themselves from this earth. And I have no reason to doubt that. He did shit like that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you do you want to talk about... This is a dark spot. There is a... For the context. A group of rogue gamer gators broke off. Relatively small group. A few dozen people. Um, and created Gamergate Revolt. GG Revolt, they called it. I and remember it this. Extremely... Like, these... It, to me, this was, like, the legit bad actors. Oh, yeah. Like, this was, Revolt like... Were if they're, like, like, like the, the, all the things that the media said about GG, like, this was, like, it. They were, like, they... No, I, I, when they started out, to be fair, they started out as like a free speech forum, I think. And then all the people who got banned from all the other communities, because mm -hmm. they weren't welcome there, um, they went there. I remember when they, and... they used to call us the ethics cucks. <laughs> yeah. They were literally anti-gamergate just from the other extreme. 
these were like far right people who hated the the. They were they, they were call. the Paul types. They were the Paul types, and they thought we should have let Paul be in charge of the whole thing. Yeah, these people, these people, they they legit harassed people. Um, they legit they legit harassed people. They were often horrible bigots. They were involved with people were. like the Ralph Retort. They were shitheads. I I. I stayed away from the Chan stuff for that reason. Because I didn't want to deal with people. They never did anything except make us look terrible. At least and at we, least they were literally at least they literally named themselves a revolt against us. So if somebody's like Oh, GG Revolt, they were part of Gamergate. I could just retort they literally called themselves a revolt against us. Yeah. They didn't even call themselves Gamergate Revolt. They called themselves expressly GG Revolt. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah. I'm sure they didn't like me either, or talent. I'm sure they didn't like me either. Now, <laughs> if they liked me, I'd worry. Now, I, I think it's safe to say that, like, the vast majority of people in Gamergate, like, condemned GG Revolt, especially after they, especially after they started, like, legit harassing people. Like, I did give them a shot for, like, a few weeks where I'm like, it's a free speech forum. I'll see how it heads out. I'll see where it goes. But obviously, it went completely insane when they... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, that was... <laughs> That was an armpit. Yeah. And that was an armpit of an armpit. Yeah, it's it's And do you think that do you Talent think that from wants the anti talk about drama? Do you yeah, no, that's all he wants. Um do you think that the anti gamergate community, they look at this, they look at Gamergate and they're like, Well you see, you you gamergaters, you see you're all you all care about ethics or creative freedom or whatever, but the true thing is the true Gamergate. That's that, you know, fifty people on that one breakaway forum. Of course, but they know that's bullshit. They're just lying. I mean, that's what they would say, though, right? They would say that the true Gamergate, the true Gamer. I mean, I don't know if they would say that or not, but um. Like I assume that they would say that like the true gamer gate was like these these like literally literally a super small number of people um, on this fucking forum who were legit bad the same actors. Thing is, that's the same thing as looking for whatever two people sent death threats to Anita Sarkeesian. It's just looking for the absolute worst of the worst and trying to tar the whole movement with that. And of course, it's completely hypocritical. Because they had people who were just as bad or worse, and they, you know, they just ignored that and acted like, oh, well, they don't represent us. We don't have to do anything about them. And I mean, some of their guys, some of their crazy, crappy assholes were, you know, the biggest, most platform people. I mean, like, go back to Movie Bob. He was fucking insane. Do you think, out of character, um, do you think that I should include a question about Gamergate Revolt or GG Revolt or whatever in all the interviews? I mean, maybe. Most people didn't even know what GG Revolt was, though. Yeah, that's that's Like, it was so small. It was was so small that, like, if I'm asking someone about it, they'll be like, what the heck was GG Revolt? And I remember there was something that was a splinter group, even of that splinter group that was vague. It was called Baphomet. That was a completely separate group. Um, I don't they weren't even they, they weren't even involved with GG. They were, but that was a very bad group of people too. But yeah, they weren't uh, they weren't GG. 